Hello, everyone. I'm Sonia, and I'm excited to welcome you to another informative session brought to you by EPC Land. With over 20 years of experience in the energy sector, I'm here to guide you through some fascinating topics in green energy, a field that's driving the future of sustainable development. In this educational series, we are exploring the basics and fundamentals related to green energy, with a special focus on green hydrogen, a key element in the transition to a cleaner and more sustainable energy landscape. Today, we'll dive into an important comparison of the different types of electrolyzers used for hydrogen production. As you may know, electrolyzers are devices that use electricity to split water into hydrogen and oxygen, a process that is crucial for producing green hydrogen. There are four main types of electrolyzers, alkaline, proton exchange membrane, or PEM, solid oxide electrolysis cells, or SOEC, and anion exchange membrane, or AEM, electrolyzers. Each of these technologies operates on the same basic principle but differs in various physical, chemical, and electrochemical aspects. Let's start with alkaline electrolyzers. This is a mature technology, widely used in industries like fertilizer and chlorine production. Alkaline electrolyzers operate at temperatures between 60 to 80 degrees Celsius and at a pressure of about 30 bar. They use an aqueous potassium hydroxide solution as the electrolyte, with nickel-based materials for both the anode and cathode. These electrolyzers are known for their simple and low-cost design, making them the most affordable option on the market. However, their thick membranes result in an efficiency of around 70 to 80 percent, which is slightly lower compared to other technologies. Next, we have proton exchange membrane or PEM electrolyzers. Despite being a relatively young technology, PEM electrolyzers have gained significant traction and now make up about one fifth of the global electrolyzer capacity. These systems operate at high pressures and temperatures between 50 to 80 degrees Celsius, using thin PFSA membranes as the electrolyte. The cathode is typically made of platinum, while the anode uses materials like ruthenium oxide. PEM electrolyzers are known for their high efficiency, around 80 to 90 percent, and their ability to respond quickly to changes in renewable electricity supply. However, the use of expensive materials like platinum and iridium increases the overall cost of these systems. Now, let's talk about solid oxide electrolysis cells, or SOEC electrolyzers. These electrolyzers are unique because they use heat, typically from sources like nuclear or industrial facilities, to convert steam into hydrogen. Operating at very high temperatures, ranging from 500 to 850 degrees Celsius, SOECs are the most efficient of all the electrolyzer types. They utilize a yttria-stabilized zirconia electrolyte, with nickel viacid as the cathode and viacid as the anode. Despite their high efficiency, SOECs are still in the demonstration phase and are not yet widely commercialized. Additionally, they are not well suited to handle load changes, making them less flexible in certain applications. Finally, we have the anion exchange membrane, or AEM electrolyzers. This is the latest technology in the field and is currently deployed at the large prototype level. AEM electrolyzers operate at lower temperatures, around 50 to 60 degrees Celsius, and at pressures ranging from 1 to 30 bar. They use an anion exchange ionomer as the electrolyte, with nickel-based materials for the cathode and a combination of nickel, ferrous, and cobalt oxides for the anode. AEM electrolyzers combine the less harsh operating conditions of alkaline electrolyzers with the simplicity and high efficiency of PEM electrolyzers. However, since this technology is still in its early stages, its commercialization is limited. In summary, each type of electrolyzer has its own unique advantages and challenges. Alkaline electrolyzers are cost-effective and mature, PEM electrolyzers are efficient and responsive to renewable energy, SOEC electrolyzers offer the highest efficiency but are still in development, and AEM electrolyzers represent the latest advancements, combining the best features of other technologies. Thank you for joining me today in this educational series by EPC Land. I hope this session has provided you with a clear understanding of the different electrolyzer technologies and their role in the future of green energy.
Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos on the fundamentals of green energy and explore the exciting world of sustainable solutions. Together, we can drive the transition to a cleaner, greener future. See you in the next video.